Donald the donkey had had enough. Enough of carrying, straining, walking and being whipped badly if he did any of that slowly. He wanted a new life, but he just didn't know what. As he stood, pondering this in the bright morning sunshine, a small bird flew past, singing the most beautiful song. That's it! I'm going to become a musician, brayed Donald, in a moment of inspiration. That's the life for me, spreading joy wherever I go. So Donald set off for the nearby town of Bremen right away to buy himself a drum kit. Only a few minutes later, he came across an old sheepdog by the side of the road. What's up, dog? Oh, said the dog out of breath. I'm too old for this lark. Sheep ain't what they used to be. I don't know, maybe it's me. Ever thought of a career in music, said Donald with a smile. Um said the dog. Honestly, no. Why? We could play music, hang out and get paid for it. Any sheep chasing involved at all? asked the dog. Nope, said Donald. Plus, we'll get more work as a duo, playing music together, I mean. Woof, said the dog, which roughly translates as yes. They hadn't walked far when they met an old cat stretched out on a fence by the side of the road. Where are you chaps off to? asked the cat. Bremen, said the dog. We're changing career. To what? Musicians, said Donald. Ooh, the cat's green eyes lit up. Need an accordion player? Now, no one ever needs an accordion player, but they both agreed it was worth a try. We'll be a trio, said Donald. But what are you going to play, Gunther? The dog thought about it. I always love the guitar. Awesome, said Donald, and kicked his hind legs into the air from sheer excitement. The three new friends were making a list of band names without much success when they heard the loud cock-a-doodle of a rooster from a nearby farm. Hey, rooster, shouted Donald, do you know any popular songs? Nah, I'm more into jazz, man, said the rooster flying down. I dig on freeform improv, that's my jam. The others didn't understand a word of what Rooster just said, but he was cool, so he was in. So there they were on their way to Bremen Town, a brand new quartet, that means four musicians, very excited to be on a new musical adventure together. It was starting to get dark, and they realised they wouldn't make it to town before sunset, so, spying a small house in the distance, they decided to stay there for the night. There was a light coming from inside and Donald clip-clopped over to the window and peered in. What do you see, man? asked Roost. Ooh, a table full of food and drink and there's robbers eating, drinking and having a great old time. I don't know about you, but I'm starving, said the cat rubbing her tabby tummy. Why don't we do our first gig here tonight? Yes, said Donald. The robbers will love it so much they'll ask us to share their food. Woof, said Gunther, scratching a flea on his ear. I'll climb on your back, Donald. Cat, you climb on mine. Roost, fly up and sit on Cat's back, and we'll be like a totem pole orchestra. Yeah, said Roost, doing her vocal warm-ups. That should be our band name, man, the totem pole orchestra. Great, said the dog. But wait, we haven't got any instruments. Let's just see what happens, man. Be free, said Roost, clicking her feathers. Gunther watched her in wonder, thinking, wow, she's so cool. Once they were all in position, Donald stamped out a count of three and they all started to hee-haw, crow, squeal, squawk and howl as loud as they could. It wasn't the worst first performance ever, but it wasn't very musical at all. And when Donald got carried away with himself and started stamping, everyone lost their balance and came crashing through the robber's window. Well, the robbers were terrified that some terrible monster was attacking them and they all ran out of that little house and into the woods as fast as they could. The Totem Pole Orchestra were a little confused why their audience had run away instead of applauding. But when they smelled the delicious food, they quickly forgot and all sat down at the table to eat. The night got better and better as they ate, drank, laughed and sang until it was very late before settling down for a good night's sleep. But what happened to the robbers? They hadn't gone away. They waited and watched until the early morning, 
when the firelight had died down. The boss told one of the robbers to go back to the house and find out who had scared them away. So, a robber crept back in through the front door. But it was very dark, and by mistake he trod on the cat's tail. Well, it was quite a shock, and the cat woke up and jumped onto the robber's face, screeching and scratching as hard as she could. The robber wasn't expecting that and stepped backwards onto the sleeping dog who bit his leg and wouldn't let go. Get off me leg, shouted the robber who backed out of the house across the yard in the pitch darkness. But he couldn't see a thing and he bumped into the donkey who was in the middle of a lovely dream. The donkey went up onto his front legs and kicked back which sent the robber flying through the air and into the tree where Roost the rooster was fast asleep. Roost woke up with a start and squawked and flapped all over that poor robber until he ran off screaming. Well, he got back to his boss, trembling with fear and covered in bumps and scratches. What happened to you? Don't make me go back, said the robber. There's a crazy witch in there with claws, sharp teeth, a kick like a mule and giant demon wings. A witch, said his boss. What happened? Just look at me, said the robber. She scratched my face, nearly bit my leg off, kicked me across the yard and then flew above me, screaming some kind of magic. What do you mean, magic? I don't know, but it was horrible. It didn't rhyme. There was no tune. It was like really bad jazz. The robbers never did go back to that house. But you won't be surprised to learn that it became the home to the Totem Pole Orchestra. After a very noisy first performance, they spent a lot of time practicing and became known as Bremen's most exciting live band. You can probably get tickets to see them. Oh, and don't worry, they've improved a lot since that first show they did for those robbers. You know what they say, practice makes perfect.